Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can email an access report or how you can send an access report out as a file for your colleagues to have a look at. So first of all, let's have a quick look at this database. So this is the workforce database that I've been using on a few of my videos and in it I have a report which I'll just open. So this is a consultant stats report, which obviously access updates automatically as new information is inputted. So this will always be changing. Now, if I need to send this to anybody, I can send this report in various formats. So I want to show you those formats and then I want to automate the process as well. So if I go to the tab external data, you've got this export group with different formats. And you can save the export if you want. So you've got Excel, send it Excel, text, and PDF or XPS, or attach it to an email. So I'll send it as a PDF first off. So I'll click on PDF. Basically, it asks you for a name. So I'll just um, get rid of the stats thing because I've already done it once. So it's just going to be report consultants, publish. Now it asks me if I want to save that step. I am going to save that step, then it'll sit in this area, so save export, and then what you can do is, in future, you can just go into there and run it from there. Just click on it and run and it will do it. Now, what does it look like when you've actually sent it? So if I just bring the other window onto this screen, make it full screen. So this is basically what that report will look like as a PDF. So you can see it's very similar in how it sits and how it looks. And I'll just get rid of that. Now, if I want to run that again, I click on it, run. Yes, I do want to replace the editing file. And then it, it's finished doing it, close this down. And then bring that window back onto this screen again. And you can see it's there. So once you've done it and saved it, it's a, an easy thing to keep running it. So close that one down. Now, some of the other formats might not be as pretty as that. Uh, if I look at what does it look like if I send it to Excel, so I'm still going to send it, um, I'll get rid of the stats and put a one after it. So it's going to the same place, but it's going as an Excel format. Don't know why it's picking up that old format. And I'm going to open the destination file once it's complete. Click OK to that. And then it gives me the option to open it. Uh, I don't want to save this step, so I will close that in a second. But just let's have a look how that looks in Excel. And I'm not saving this step. Now, if I run it again as a text file, it's going to be a text, and I'll open that one. OK. I think the Excel file didn't have the, uh, the font color showing. That's what that was. So this one doesn't look great either, but it's just, as it says on the tin, a text file. It's opened it up in Notepad. That's no good. So the PDF option is probably the best looking option, but I can also send it as an attachment to an email. And again, it gives me all these options. I'll go for PDF, OK, and then it gives me an attachment with a message to be filled in who it's to and the message itself. So I'm not going to actually send that as an email, but it's just going to, if I open the PDF, it's just the PDF as we've seen before. So I'll just bring that back on. So it's exactly the same as when I showed you how to do a PDF. I'll close that one down and close that one down. Now to automate the whole process, what you could do is create a macro and then you would be just clicking a button. So on the main menu form, for example, I have these buttons and I could have a button on here that would run a macro. But first of all, I need to create the macro. To create a macro, I need to click on create and then macro and then the type of macro I want is already set for me it's just basically export with formatting comes up with table I don't want to export a table I want to export a report and then it asks you for the report name so the report name is going to be consultant stats now the output format is the same output formats as we've already been looking at so PDF is what I want now you could output you to a file um, I don't want to fill any of this in. All this is available. That's all I really want. So I'm now going to save this macro as MAC or M yeah, 
MAC output, call it output, call it what you want really, click OK to that, and then I need to create a command button that's going to run that. Close that down, get into design on this. Draw myself a little command button and then activate the macro or attach the macro to this button. So it's going to be under miscellaneous, uh, run macro, next, macro output selected, and then that's going to be, let's call it stats, because that's what it is. I probably should put run stats in front of it, so you can see that it's run stats. And then finish run stats, save, have a look, click run stats, and then that should output it, and I'll just give it a, a number three, because I've already got a couple, I'll give it a four, because I can't remember how many I've done, and then it will output that to a PDF, as you've seen already. Now, I can run that as many times as I want, the PDF I go into the folder documents we should find that stat run consultants 4 there it is PDF if I open that one just bring it onto this screen and it's exactly the same as all the other ones that you've seen so as the data changes if I close this down come back into access as the data changes in this database this report Stats will obviously change and every time you need to run that you can run that Now you can also create a macro where that is attached automatically to an email So I can do that one for you. Just have a quick look at that So now create macro again this time I'm going over to this side I've got actions and email database objects double click on that and it goes through the same sort of process. Select the object type, report, object name, so it's still gonna be stats, and output format will be PDF. And then you could, if you're gonna send this to the same person all the time, put the email there, and I'll just call it stats as a report. And then you can actually put some text in there so it will be an actual email message which you can also edit as well with the auto text and things like that in Outlook but here are the stats for example and then all of that is okay let's save that as MR MAC stats email okay to that Close that. Going to design on this one. Create another button. Command button, and then you're just doing the same thing. You're attaching the email macro, macro, the email one to this. Call it email stats. So if I just finish that one off, you've got options. To either do it yourself manually through the ex uh, external data or better save this and have a look create a macro to do it where you then just clicking a button and you're getting people to click a button but that should attach this to a, an email and the email should open and it should stop waiting for you to either edit it but remember if you put an email address in there it will probably just send it and there you go it stops there there's a pdf if i open the pdf again you'll see it's the same as what we've been looking at before just pull that onto this screen it stopped on this um screen so because i didn't put an email in the macro it's just sitting there waiting for me to type something in that's what i typed in the message you can obviously add things there you've got signature blocks that you can select from there to put in if you want that's the, there's the stats, I put that in the wrong place, but you, you get the idea and you can put things, other signatures in there. You can insert any quick parts that you might want to add into there. You might have quick parts that you've already set up. I haven't got any in this example, but you could put paragraphs in there um, and then you can just bring the PDF in and have a look.
like so just make it full screen so that's the attachments it's exactly the same as all the other ones so let's close that down now and then you just send that as normal send it to whoever you want to send this to so every time if I close that one down I'm not saving it so every time I click email stats that's going to do exactly that where it says in the tin if you want to edit the macro and put some more information in there feel free to do so in the macro but that's all I want to talk about in this little video basically we're looking at how you can export reports in this example but also you've got the option to export objects as well you could do all these objects whatever objects you want to export you can through these processes um, and I've gone mainly for the PDF one and email example but if you create a macro that automates you can save exports as well and yeah, that's all I want to talk about on this little video hopefully it was of use thank you for your time I'll see you on the next one